does, these days, that does not seem like anything. 35 years ago was the first time we ever did that. The gentleman we did that later became District Attorney of Philadelphia. He became the mayor of Philadelphia, and it's now my pleasure to introduce my good friend and a friend of this community's, of the city of Philadelphia, Governor Ed Rendell. Thanks, everyone. Hello, everyone. Thanks very much. Uh, I am, uh, you know, I found out when I went into the private sector, after being my own boss for 34 years, I now work for 16 different entities. And what I found out is when uh, people pay you, they expect you to show up and show up on time. <laughs> the first thing I always did, the last thing I never did when I was mayor and governor. So I'm in the midst of a four hour board call. So. I'm sorry that I have to leave to go back and won't be here for the gra actual groundbreaking. Truth be told, looking at the array of public officials and speakers here, I'm not sorry that I have a board meeting. <laughs> but but uh, I did want to come over to congratulate everyone who's involved in this project. And Mayor Nutter did uh, thank people uh, who were very, very important. Uh, I, I want to just single out three. First, uh, Mayor John Street. Uh, uh, this project, uh, the William Way Center, happened in great part because as mayor, I supported the efforts uh, that were necessary to get the center and to do a, a ton of things, including the elevator. Mark must have called me a thousand times about the elevator. Here I was with a city with a, a $250 million deficit, and he was calling me about the elevator. But, but uh, let the record show that Mayor Street uh, was the mayor when this project was formulated and he helped bring it to reality and he deserves a great deal of credit for that. <laughs> Second, I want to thank Brian Hudson. Probably, uh, I think I made a lot of great appointments as governor, but I had ne never met Brian the day that I was elected governor, but I learned about him and interviewed him and I promoted him to be the head of the Pennsylvania Housing Finance Authority, uh, and he has done an incredible job. Such a good job that he withstood the political acts in January of 2011, and is still in that position, although after this speech he may be gone. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I think Mark will attest to the fact that uh, Brian, uh, through his usual uh, magic, made this project happen, and Brian, we appreciate all your And last but not least, we do have to thank Mark, because Mark got this project done with his dedication, his focus, his passion, and his overall obnoxiousness. <laughs> <laughs> None of it would have happened. You know, many of you in the community have had the experience of dealing with Mark. <laughs> and Mark is like that energizer buddy, you know, you, you, you knock him down, he gets up, keeps coming up. So finally, somewhere along the line, you decide, it isn't worth it, right, Mayor, to keep saying no? It isn't worth it. Your life will be so much better if you say yes. <laughs> and of course, I said yes, and Mayor Nutter said yes, Mayor Street said yes, we all said yes, but seriously. Uh, there are, and this building is dedicated to a great, one of the early leaders of this community. And this community has been blessed by having a lot of courageous women and men to lead the fight for LGBT rights. Uh, but you guys are, and I know you know this, are fortunate to have Mark. You are fortunate to have Mark because passion is important. Dedication is important. Relentlessness is import, important. When you are creating a movement, and that movement is dedicated to increasing people's rights and increasing opportunities like these wonderful senior apartments, you have to have someone with that passion, with that dedication, who's willing to put it all out on the line. And Mark has done that, it continues to do it, and that's a good thing for the community, but it's also a good thing for this city. You know, one of the things that we learned Tuesday night is that the majority of Americans, the significant majority of Americans, believe that America, Pennsylvania, and Philadelphia do best when we're all in it together, when we are one community, when we are one people, when we respect each other's differences and actually cherish those differences because they're like a, 
uh, a collage that uh, is mo more beautiful because it's made up of so many different colors and aspects to it. And that's true about America. I, I tell the story about I had a chance to attend one Olympics, and it was the Olympics in Atlanta. And uh, I was way up top, so I had binoculars. And at the end of the opening ceremony, the nations parade in, one by one. And uh, each nation paraded in. I would put them on ox to try to see what the athletes looked like. And virtually in every nation that paraded in, the athletes looked the same. The Swedes were all tall and, and blonde. Uh, you know, the uh, uh, Egyptians were dark and, and uh, swarthy. And uh, uh, each team had their own mix. Not mix, each team had their own sort of continuity to it. And then the host country, and we were the host country, mar marches in last. And I trained the, the box on us. And we looked like a bunch of mutts. I mean, we were all sh shapes, all colors, all sizes. And you know what? If you know dogs, mutts are the strongest. Mutts are the most resilient. Mutts are the ones who will never quit. Mutts are the ones who get things done. So we are a nation of mutts, a state of mutts, and a city of mutts. And we are the stronger for it. So congratulations to everyone who made this possible. It is awesome to have, as Mayor Nutter announced, the largest uh, LGBT facility for housing in the United States right here at, uh, on, on uh, 13th Street. It's a great tribute to all of you. I'm glad that I paid a small part in it. And uh, while I'm taking that board call in a nice warm office, yeah. I'll be thinking of all of you. I don't know if any of you have anything to do, but I've looked at the program and figure 215. <laughs>